Hi, welcome to this example on hypothesis testing for the proportion P of a binomial distribution. Now in this example what I'm going to show you is how we can use the critical value method of finding out whether to accept or reject HO. Now to do that we'll run through this example here. The manufacturer claims that two out of five people prefer Soapy Suds washing powder over any other brand. And for a sample of 25 people, only four people are found to prefer Soapy Suds. So is the manufacturer's claim justified? We're going to test this at the 5% level of significance. Well, if we assume that the proportion of people who prefer soapy suds stays at two out of five, two fifths in other words, and that probabilities remain independent, then what we've got here is a binomial model. And we can describe that by way of a random variable. Let x be the random variable, number of people who prefer soapy suds where x is binomially distributed, number of trials is 25, and the probability of someone preferring soapy suds is p. Now, if the manufacturer's claim were correct, then we would give this the, as the null hypothesis. And the symbol for that, or notation, is h with a zero. And that would be that the proportion P is two-fifths. Now, assuming that HO is true, let's just write that down, assuming HO is true, okay, that is that X is distributed binomially 25 and probability of success is two-fifths, then what could we expect the number of people who prefer soapy suds to be? This would be E of X, and for binomial distribution, it's N times P, or 25 times 2 fifths, or 2 fifths of 25. And 2 fifths of 25 is going to be 10. So we'd expect 10 people, if the manufacturer's claim were correct, to like using soapy suds. Only this time we've got less than that, four people. So that would seem to suggest that the proportion maybe is less than two in five. So the alternative hypothesis will be P is less than two fifths. And so this is a one tail test in the lower tail. And our observed value x is 4 and we're testing at the 5% level so we tend to say alpha equals 5% or as a decimal 0 0.05. Now we would need to build in a clause where we reject HO and that's if the probability that the number of people who prefer soapy suds is less than the observed value 4 given that HO is true and if that probability is less than the significance level of the test which is going to be in this particular example 0.05% Now I did say at the beginning of this uh, tutorial that I want to show you how we do this in another way by finding what's called a critical value so rather than work out the probability of x being less than or equal to 4 from this binomial distribution, what we can do is change this to a particular value. We call it x with a little c, the critical value for the observations. And what we're looking for is a value of x that makes this less than or equal to 0 0.05. And it's the greatest value that we can find when we're dealing with the lower tail. And to do this we need to use Q 
commutative binomial probability tables. And if I bring up an extract here, you can see that for n equals 25, and assuming that the null hypothesis is true, p would be 0 0.40. That's the decimal equivalent of two fifths. And what we need to do is come down through the observation x and see which of the probabilities get as close as you can, but less than 0.05. So as we come down here, you can see that gradually we get down to 5 here, which is 0.0294, just a little over 2%. And yet when we get 6, we're in to just over 7%. So, in fact, it's this value here, which is the greatest value that we can have that is still less than or equal to the significance level. So, there's our 5, so x would have to equal 5. The critical value would be 5. So, we could write down here that from tables, okay, that xc, the critical value, would equal 5. So providing you had any observation less than or equal to 5, you would reject HO. And indeed we have. We've got that x is 4. So therefore we can say that since our observed value x equaling 4 is less than the critical value, value of 5, okay, then our conclusion would be to reject HO. And we'd write this in, reject HO, and that there is evidence to suggest that the manufacturer's claim is false, and it is less than 2 in 5 at the 5% level of significance. OK, well, I hope you've understood that particular method. And uh, we'll also look at some other examples that I've also put up where we find the critical values and compare our observed value to the critical value.